Okay. Finding velocity on x t graph. Now, again, we are yet on a uh, straight line. Straight line meaning uh, this is the particle or the car and it goes there. Okay, in a straight line. It doesn't uh, go to the left or right, it's just straight line. Now, this is the graph. The graph tells you where's the location with respect to time. Okay, so this one. This is the graph. Okay. So that's not the fat or the, the direct, or I mean the, yung pag move ng, ng car or the particle. The movement is just a straight line. So don't be mistaken. This is not the, the fat of the car. So this is just a graph. Now, again, as discussed, you can get the average speed here, okay, from P1 to P2, okay, this is the line, that line is the average, actually that is the slope, the average is the slope, the average velocity is the slope, why, uh, what is slope again, that is rise over run or delta y over delta x, right, but in this case, uh, that is the, this is the our general equation for slope. Now for the velocity, okay, so don't be confused. Let's erase this one. Rise over run. The velocity is delta x. Again, don't be mistaken here because that is our delta x over delta t. It means uh, delta x in this case is the rise of a run that is the slope of a line so the average velocity is the slope of the line between the two points so you must understand that now that is between one second to three seconds now how about we go to one to two seconds so as you can see the slope now is different Okay, this one is steeper compared to this one. So again, the average speed or the average velocity changes with respect to time or with respect to the displacement of two points. Okay, now let's go to the instantaneous velocity. Instantaneous velocity like this one. Of course, you have learned from your differential e equation that equation on differential calculus, okay, you can find the tangent line at this point. And to find that, that is d, dx over dt. Okay, that slope. This is the slope, okay, slope of tangent, that is the instantaneous velocity. Now, the slope of the instantaneous velocity will tell you if that is going to the positive direction or going back. Now, this is arbitrary, meaning it depends. You can, uh, let's say this one, if this is positive, so it means it's going up, going to the positive direction. If you put it negative, it means it's going to the negative direction. Okay? So, it depends in the the your notation but in this case why did i say it's going to that direction because the slope is let's say positive okay as seen in this figure so from point one to point two it's going going up okay now let's see this graph so that i could explain thoroughly what they mean uh what does it mean the, the slope? If it's negative, it's zero, it's positive. Anong ibig sabi non? This is the graph. Okay. So again, it doesn't mean that you have to begin with zero distance. In this case, he begin with negative, and then it goes up. Okay, to the positive region. Then it moves down. 
here. So that's the movement of the particle. Again, it's just straight. This graph shows you the direction or the displacement with respect to time. Now at point A, the slope, it's positive. It means it's going to that direction, positive direction. Okay? This is also positive. Now, you have learned, you have dx over dt, and this is delta x over delta t. If you have a big slope, it means this is big or this is small. If this is big, meaning there's a abrupt change of displacement. It means the instantaneous velocity is uh, malaki, it's big. Okay? Now, at point C, it, it stopped abruptly. Or I mean, it stopped at this instant. Okay, kasi lumiko. You have, you have to stop. And the slope is horizontal. It, the slope is zero, it's horizontal. Okay, it means your instantaneous velocity here is zero. Okay? At D, the direction changes. But again, it doesn't mean... Uh, it's just a direction. Okay? Doesn't mean it's slower compared to this one. Actually, this is bigger. Okay? Then, here, it means it's slowing down. So, the, the slope tells you the direction going to the positive or going to the negative and the slope tells you uh, what's the value or what's the, is that uh, zero velocity or is that a very big velocity or uh, something like that. So, you have to be familiar with this uh, graph. Okay.